everyone welcome to my channel have you built up your fine hallelujah it's a great day to be here most god is good god bless you hallelujah so today i'm going to talk about a little bit about speaking in tongues what some people believe some people believe that um when you receive the gifts of speaking in tongues that you don't have to speak it anytime you like but i thought you can speak anytime you like it's not tongues that's not true that's not true i'm going to do another video on my experience on tongues but i'm not i want to answer that small question that small aspect of it when you are filled with the holy spirit with the evidence, evidence of, with the evidence of speaking in tongues you will be able to speak it just anytime you want to speak it why because that tongue becomes a part of your spiritual makeup it does not leave doesn't go away it's a gift right how many of you when you give somebody a gift or when you receive a gift you cannot use a gift anytime you want to use it that's not a gift that means it's still with you it's still with the owner it's not your own but once it's a gift and if you want to go to a party Mm. You, want, you want to do anything you want. At first, of course, things are decent. The same thing with that gift of tongues. When you receive it, it does not leave you. It stays in your spirit. When you want to speak, maybe you are praying. You are able to speak it. You are able to. The only thing is, what that Paul was talking about is that if you want to speak it as a message, as a prophecy to the church, there must be an interpreter. But if you are speaking as prayer to God, you don't need an interpreter. Because the Bible says it that prays in another tongue speaks mysteries to God and nobody understands it. So that's it. So be clear that when you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you have a gift of praying in tongues, you can speak that tongue anytime you like. But it's, it's a part of your spiritual makeup. It stays right there. It's a gift. You have it. You can speak it. You want to pray with it? You pray with it. You edify yourself with it. The book of Jude says, edify. Pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You pray in it. The fire of spirit in it. Hallelujah. You just to, to, to tear up your spirit. Hallelujah. You can. It's there. You can pray in tongues anytime you want to pray in tongues when you have the gift. God bless you. Stay with me. Subscribe. And if you want that gift, I won't review you on it. You'll get it. Praise God. Anybody, any believe anybody that's born again can get it. in the Bible. They were not selecting those out that we get it. When Paul saw Christians, new Christians, Acts 19 from 1 to 6. Say, Have you received the Holy Ghost? In this letter, say, Some of you will have the gift. Say, No. And this, and as it lands on them in verses, they were free to because they, all of them were, they were all praying in tongues. You can, you, everybody can get it, but some people believe it's for some Christian. It's a gift for, yes, it's a gift, but everybody can get it. See you next time. Bye.